Today's a good night to brush your toes, brush your elbows, them bows, them bows, them bows. You know what that song is? I bet you don't know. You're gonna stay at your Yabalikas tomorrow night. Me and mommy are gonna go out. My stomach is gonna be removed from me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yabalikas gonna wear you for a little bit. <laughs> but have a good night. I love you. And I'll see you Friday. Oh gosh. Good job. Buenos dias, mis amigos. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Oh my gosh, Buddha. That's the first time she ever was in sync with me and she ever did that. Because she started doing the shimmy, shimmy apparently out of nowhere, which is great. So proud of you. Okay, mis amigos. It's cold out. I came out and like, oh, it's nice. We're going to Abuelika's house. It's and I got to show Abuelika house and um, Mambo. Yeah. It's kind of brisk out. Um, a light jacket. But even with this leather jacket that I have, I'm like, I'm kind of cold. And I have a short sleeve underneath. And my ankles are peeking through. I was telling Boyd, so I'm like, I don't know how people wear, have like I naked, hold on, sh have naked legs, like wear dresses and booty. <gasps> Oh, it's on the brake. I was like, why is my car stopping? I'm like, why is the car stopping? And I'm pressing on the brake. Um, and, and like, or like ankle jeans with their ankles showing in the, like, just out there. My, my ankles were so cold the other day. So funny. But yeah, so we're on our way to Abulika's house. We're going to go see the baby. And we're going to the movies later. Me and Boyd say, so join us. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> and they have a kid or a Wow, kid. Buddha. La amiga te compro, right? Alexa. Wait, wait, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So cute. Thank you, Suzanne. That so cute. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, who's kid is? Who's kid is? Papichula. Papichulo. Okay. So, <laughs> My mom hates that. No, it's only for Oh, no. Kike. So, and Henry. Geek. No, Papi Chulo. Kike. Kike. Papi yeah, Chulo. Geek. No, Ziana. Say it's Papi Chulo. Abulika. No. Abulika. Say it's Papi Chulo. This is no. Papi Chulo. Kike. Kike. Pura. Kike. Freaking kid. He's gonna have a million names by the time he's born. Yes, mi amor. Kike. 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 Dígale Kike a su Kiki is a nickname. Oh, Kiki. so Kiki is a nickname yeah, that my dad has since Peru. Kike. But apparently, there's like a meaning behind it for the Jews. Kiki means it's a bad word. So I remember when my dad had his mustache, he had and his license plate Kiki, and somebody had complained about it because we're like, what the heck is Kiki? And then we learned what Kiki is. But yeah, it's a nickname. So just in case we have some Jewish amigos, we're not offending anybody. That's a nickname yeah. for my father. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be like my last appointment to go see the baby. Wait. And my little baby boy, because kids run. My little baby boy was being a bad boy. He's being uncooperative. That's what she said. She's like, he's being uncooperative. So now I gotta come back again. Number uno, 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 uno. We're gonna come back again. I gotta waste more time so she can see all the chambers of the heart. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? Hello. The door is gonna open. Uh oh. Look at my baby. Ha ha. My baby. My baby. Oh, yeah. My baby. My baby. My baby. Oh. And this is the picture with his little man part. And the stupid printer is not working. So I got messed up pictures on top of that. I hate this doctor's office. Because my doctor has like two different offices, is the whole thing. Whatever. Let's go home now. Mommy, I love you. Me voy. Me vas a extrañar. You don't even care, okay? Bye. Love you, te amo.
Can I get a besito? Oh my gosh, she don't even care. She's so grown. My little red lips. Oh, <gasps> Mira tus labios. Te amo, be good girl, okay? I love you. Yo te amo también, mi amor. Wait, why are you blaming me? I look hot? You look smoking. Thank you, hot. thank you. Thank you, thank you, honey. Yo, like, you look amazing. Red is my color, I think, right? With them gold shoes, that nice, that nice uh, necklace that she got for you. And now you roll oh. them off. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm flustered. I don't even know how to put this in. <laughs> Boy, so, oh, what did you do? You it out. I didn't rip it out. You did. How did that happen? Oh, I gotta find a way to mount this so it's gonna rip off again. And like that side, we're gonna lose this. No way. You're not doing it. Well, you did something. I didn't. He always blames me. It's so easy to blame a woman, isn't it? It is. Uh, uh. Crap in my car. Hello? Get this crap out of here. Close away. Stop. Give me my. Polish flag? Huh? It's the Polish flag? The Polish flag. Give me! I just said give me. What do you want this thing? We don't celebrate Poland. Viva Peru! Que viva Peru! Viva Peru! <laughs> viva Peru! When, when are you ever Peruvian? And why I got two different slips on? Or you take them off? Why is it my thing? Now you're criticizing me. You're smoking hot today. You wanna put me on a mantle? I'll put you on the top of my... My man's on my TV. Put you, put you right up there to Baymax. <laughs> Stupid. Oh. I know, I want to hit you. Why am I hitting you? Well, why don't you explain to me and the amigos about the girl you were flirting with? The girl was I flirting with? You tell me. I'm going to suck. You tell me. Mm -hmm. Now he don't know. I don't know. You're all chummy in my dreams, huh? But now he don't know. Oh, her, her. That she's, she took my taxes. <laughs> Stupid. Yo, I had a dream. I don't know where we were. Where we're we gonna eat for dinner? Stop. I don't know. I don't know where we were. And it was a young girl. She had to be like 18. Okay? Now you're like, I'm young! Okay. <laughs> and all the, she was a cute girl that we were all getting along. And she was like, she looked at him like, oh, this is my boyfriend. Ha ha ha. Everyone's laughing and it's like, oh, cute. But then you know, real quick, the bet, the real Betsy, the bet, the Betty, the Betty who don't play came out, and I started cursing her out, and then I started cursing you out, and then. So wait, at first you were fine with it, and then for you like were? two seconds, I was, like, ha, ha, ha. I was like, wait a minute, she's calling her a man, and she's all like this one. Oh no, hell no! I was like, he's accepting it. So then I like, we all separated. You guys separated, it. and then all of a sudden like, you guys broke up. No, 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 like we went to different Departed. sections of the party, yeah. Departed, okay. And then... Why are you yelling? Sorry. And then, I opened up a room and you guys are talking! Yo, I bugged out. I, I think I fought her. I, like, I effed her up. And then Did you I... win the fight? Huh? Did you win the fight? I don't know, probably. I'm a good fighter. And then... I, I'm like, I'm done. I walk away. Like, I run away. I take the train with, one, with, our, with our neighbor, that little girl. She's 13 years old. I walk away with the neighbor as you're on the train and you're chasing after me and this and that. Because you probably had my wallet, my Stupid. credit card. And instead of, he doesn't apologize. He says, uh, he made it seem like he was apologizing for being getting caught or something like that. I was like, and that's why you, you're stopping me? I don't know. It's good. I woke up like, <gasps> yeah, I woke up so mad. I, I'm like, I hope the baby doesn't see what I dream about or like get that anxiety and that anger and frustration and everything I want to beat you up and when I got when did you dream about this? last night and then I got into bed and I hugged your arm and then you turned over <laughs> what? I love you babe doesn't it make you feel good that I'm jealous? not really <laughs> I wish not he was really. jealous you're a little bit well not really jealous not really at all. Not, he's not jealous like on a daily like I am he's jealous once in a while Almost 30 years old. You got jealous, though. You got knows. jealous. Remember that one time? One time. I don't know if you'd really call the most recent one jealousy, but the one with their <laughs> with therapy. He's like, oh, you were holding his. Hand. You went like this. You touched him, and you're laughing and flirting. I'm like, what are you? I touch everybody. Like I touch old people like this. Like, <laughs> yeah, you did. 
was this? No, you don't remember. He got so mad at me. I was like, what? I don't remember. You don't remember. I don't get jealous, just you don't cross that line. I never cross the line. You think I, I'm a Gemini. We are natural flirts. Okay, like I'm gonna like this next girl. Oh that's good. You mean that. Yeah, you do that? No more See? BT. <laughs> I don't do that! I, don't... <laughs> I go like that. <laughs> I did that with strangers. I remember one time, once I don't know, I, I don't know when it was, but a lady was like, "Can you not touch me?" I was like, oh, "I was like, I'm so sorry." I was like, "I'm so just used to that." It was quite funny. Can we segue into how brutally brutal you are with your ankles and my those shoes? Oh, so I'm walking. I was walking fast, trying to get into the car, and these spikes they hurt me sometimes. It's like some, I don't walk straight. I don't know. When I like walk over myself and the spikes usually hit me, but this time they really got me. Look at what <laughs> Look what it did. Holy crap. It's a, yo, it's like I got bit by a vampire on my ankle. That's cray cray. Anyways guys, we're on our way to go see the early premiere. I think it comes out when? I'm not sure. Spies with Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. A director, we're gonna go see that, and then after the movie, we're gonna have a QA with Tom Hanks and Senor Spielberg. Awesome sauce! Go join us! That's the engine on the agenda. I don't know if we can take them with us, though. Join us. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully we can. I'm sure. I'll take a picture at least on my Instagram. We might take our phones. Some of those, remember some of those things we go to, they take our phones too. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Except for me, I, I, I take my wallet. This truck. You know, Don't speak with your nose. You know, like so much traffic. If I was a casting director right now, you would not have even mixed. The 59th Street Bridge, the upper and the lower were packed. It was going to take an hour to get through there. So we're taking the bridge. Wh which bridge is this? RKF? The, the, water. the one that goes across the water. One of those. RKF? R RKF. Whatever. And yeah, there's no traffic. And there's helicopters. Uh, I'm gonna try to zoom in. I'm really gonna get arrested here. Why? You're not supposed to have any video videography oh. near any of the tokens. Helicopters up there, like flying over top. We don't know why, they're just standing there. And Boy is gonna really get arrested because they can't record here. Okay, bye. Lincoln, um, where is it Lincoln? We're in Lincoln Center, AMC. AMC. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh, Kung Fu Panda 3. That's what you and your daughter like to watch, right? The Kung Fu Panda? Oh, look, that's another one. Paranormal. But I think that Paranormal actually looks like really dumb. Oh, and this is the movie we're gonna see Bridge of Spies in the Shadow of War. One man show the world what we stand for. That, that, was, that was dramatic. That was my style of movie. Oh, this is the one. What? Right, what? Inside. Popcorn for Inside Out. Oh, this is Inside Out. This is where we want. Okay, yeah, this is a good theater. I love this one. Later. Wait, where do we sit? I don't know. There are a couple of reserves, oh, yeah. guys. Yep. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, I want to congratulate the two men that I'm about to bring up right now for um, a fantastic. fourth film together. They get better all the time. They are tonight wearing special suits made out of Oscars and money. <laughs> Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. questions and we're going to take some questions from this audience and then other questions from around the country people that are watching uh, live right now um, so Stephen I'm going to start with you I saw the movie uh, the other night at Lincoln Center and some of the um, some of the Donovan and Powers family members were there what what kind of reaction have you had from them and 
what kind of help did you have from them while you were making the movie? Well, you know, when you were telling a story about, you know, the next generation of someone who really did, you know, such remarkable work in his time, first thing I worry about is are they going to accept the fact that um, this movie is representative in an honorable way of what their dad did. We had all three kids of James Donovan, and we had Gary Powers Jr. and his wife. And it was great because they absolutely saw the movie. They were emotionally very overcome by it. And, and uh, his son, who was 18 at the time, and actually traveled with him uh, abroad, uh, uh, really gave us some, I, I don't want to you know, say, uh, we got it all right. But we got uh, enough of it right that they are very proud of uh, the movie. And they showed a bit of premiere the other night, so clearly they were. They did, yeah. They, showed, they, <laughs> saw, the second, they saw it twice. They saw it twice. No, it's really scary because when I make a movie that's about something that happened in history, you know, we make Private Ryan together, and I've done Amistad, and I certainly did Lincoln, you know, there's no one to tell the tale except historians. And it's so amazing when you actually can reach out and touch the people who were touched by the great work of James Donovan. And uh, Tom, what what kind of interaction did you have with uh, with Donovan's family? Absolutely none, none whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> just the facts. Um, you know, it's it's tough because the reality is, uh, as Donovan, I'm, I'm going to say things he never said, go places he never was, and do things he never did. But inside that, there is an authenticity that uh, that you have to strive for. Uh, they came around the set when we were shooting out yeah, at, the, at the house. Yeah. yeah, and the sun did. Yeah. So we, we I had a degree of interaction, but it, 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 it's a surreal circumstance. Because on one hand, you know, our, 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 our job is not to fuck up their lives, you know, part of the, the F-bomb there. And, <laughs> but at the same time, uh, we, we must adhere to uh, a number of, uh, of cruel realities, and one is, is that it's a cinematic experience. Uh, the other is, is that we are dealing with their lives. If, if we, you know, we didn't call the guy, you know, Frank uh, Monovan. You know, his name is James Donovan, and you're really taking on something that that really happened. So the desire is, is that um, it, that they forgive us for our shortcomings, and they forgive us for those moments where. All right, we, the house didn't get quite that shot up when the time <laughs> came, you know. Figurines were well, that, exploding. That, that, that's that's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> the house was shot up. Uh, a bullet came through the window. Yeah. Came close to True, you know, yeah. Mary Ellen, the youngest, youngest daughter. I, of course, put six bullets in the window. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was doing an interview with Marty Scorsese the, the, the last time at the Director's Guild, and I said, Marty, what would, would, if this had been your movie, what would you have done? And Marty said, oh, I would have put 20, 30 bullets in the window. <laughs> <laughs> the house would be gone. I was not eating peanut butter at the time. That's the other thing that really did. <laughs> yes, but we were all watching 77 Sunset Street. Well, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. You notice in the TV screens, there's an awful lot of marching Russians a lot of times on the TV screen. <laughs> What show are they watching? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Bachelor Father? <laughs> Sullivan show. So at Regal UA 16 in Denver, uh, for both of you, how do you maintain movie magic in the time of remakes galore? And also, Tom, my mom loves you. <laughs> That's from Evan. Uh, well, my mom it. loves you. I got a gal at home. <laughs> <laughs> I just think about, uh, I never, when I'm making a movie, when I'm, I'm working on a film, I don't think about it in context with remakes or sequels or big franchises. I, I just try to find material that compels me and keeps me awake at night. If something doesn't let me sleep, I'm by and large going to direct that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exercise that until I can sleep. So I get so caught up in a story like Rich Spies, and I was uh, completely immersed in that. I don't think it bears much relevance to other movies that other filmmakers are making because other filmmakers are making huge big films. We made a really big film this year called Jurassic World that Colin Trevorrow directed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> me or make me think that I had to be competitive with that or that there was not room for Bridge of Spies and Jurassic World and there's not room for movies that are mid-range movies, smaller independent films, films that whisper a personal message compared to other films that, that just are, are in 3D hurled at you. 
Um, I think there's room for all of it. There's even room, I think, to take your phone and watch a, a 10 second uh, a little you know, short that somebody makes. I think uh, my generation didn't have that. We had TV and movies, that was it. But my kids and then myself, we have so many opportunities to see what so many people are thinking about the world, how they see the world, and how they're expressing it. So this is one of the most golden times I think we've ever experienced. Tom, what about what about for you the scripts that come to you? Do you feel as though they've gotten better over the years, worse over the years? Well, you know, look, I, quite frankly, I'm older now, and a different thing happens. You know, I'm not. I I, I don't wonder. You know, there's some stories that come by, and they're for 36 years old, and I, I'm I'm not 36 anymore. They, um, the the stuff that I read this. <laughs> Well, there's, a, there's a way this there's a way this thing works. There's movies that are never going to see the light of day, and they're written and they're fine and they might be great. And the only reason they're sending to you on the off chance that you want to do it, so therefore it might get made. And you can kind of like smell those things out. By, by and large, the, 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 it, it, it's it's it, when it's there, it is so undeniably there that you end up leaping at it. You can't. Uh, the, the, one of the great tests is that. Uh, I know a guy that said, looked to his agent and said, should, uh, should I do this movie or should I do it? And then the agent said, well, if somebody else does it, are you going to shoot yourself in the head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess i got to do this movie. <laughs> you're so selfish and you're so moved by the story that you actually you become a man possessed and you sort of have to do it. All the other stuff, it, you know, just finds its, it finds its place in the food chain. They're, they're It was so good. Amazing. And Boyd was like, you're going to fall asleep during the movie. Yeah, I really did. I thought it was way too out of your, your spectrum. Yeah, I, did, I don't like history. It just bores me. And I just don't like government history. Like, I like, you know, my murder, suicide, and mystery, mystery movies, films, whatever. But this one was so good. I kept yawning because I was tired. I didn't take a nap. Because then you're falling asleep. I was like, no. It was really good. There was no crazy scenes or explosions and yeah, it, crazy was, music. It was like it could have been a silent film, and it was gonna, it would it would have been that good. Like it was really it was really amazing. It was shot with such simplistic value, and that's what they discussed. Simplistic. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> it really was. October sixteenth is when it comes out. Um, I say give it a shot, even if you don't are not into like the whole history thing. Like I said, I was into it, so I would say definitely give it a, uh, a look see. And then the Q and A was really. Tom is hilarious. I didn't think they he was have funny. Very, yeah, they have very good chemistry. Yeah, like they're interactive to, to to the younger audience as well. Yeah, it's really good. He's well, Tom smart. Hanks is very very smart. Well, he's smart because he's cultured. He's been around in his game doing different things for years and years and years. So you just oh sorry. Very likely reason, but he's very intelligent. Yeah, it was a really good film. But, yeah, I can't wait. To, I can't wait. I, I would pay for it. I would pay to go see it again. He wants to go see it again. I was like, well, you gotta watch it with my mom. <laughs> my mom would love this film. She would yeah. love it. Amazing. Amazing. I wanted to wait for them when surely, they left. Surely the movie of the year. Yeah? Yeah. 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 It's gonna win awards. Especially, oh, of course that, Especially yeah. the guy that played, I, Mark, that played, uh, I don't know his last name, Mark. The spy? That played, yeah. The spy. Oh. He was right. I miss the relationship. Every time you, you wouldn't see them on seeing Tom Hanks and, and the spy. I was like, what did I see? I liked, I liked the spy. Even though he was a spy, I was like, I'll throw him in jail or kill him or whatever. I was like, but I, I like him. It proved that humanity is human. You, we are all humans. Uh -huh. It was the movie was the morale. The moral of the movie was humanity. And it was, it was not about the severity or the magnitude of what the Cold War was. It was about humanity. Yeah. And it's great for this period that we live in today. Humanity. And it was, it was, they were so close to having an, uh, the war. Oh, yeah. Because imagine, oh, if you guys didn't watch it. Well, I can think I can talk about it because it's the history anyways. If, if they would have killed the spy 
that would have opened the doors for any other country to kill their spies. Just to, oh, I think you're a spy, so I'm gonna kill you. Tom Hanks, well, the character, the uh, the real actor, Donovan. Donovan. If he didn't do that, yeah, yo, we would have been. Who knows where we would have been right now? It was today. a real testament to civilization and, and, and rights here in America. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Such a good, good, good film. But yeah, definitely watch it. And <coughs> the community was amazing. I was hoping I'd see Spielberg, my homie Spielberg, afterwards and say, put me in your next movie. But he went out to the next, a back door that boy, so he should have known which, where the doors were. So you missed an opportunity. Yeah. Thank you. It's okay. I know, it made, stop. It made me really want to like get into acting again. I was like, I want to work with Spielberg. But yeah. Now we're on our way home. And I'm going to drop Boy Toy off at La Casa. He's going to be home all alone. I don't even be able to eat dinner. Why? You going to be that depressed? I'll fall asleep. Uh oh. Are you going to miss us? Yeah, usually when I don't see you guys, I don't eat. Can you imagine that? He actually misses us. I was gonna sleep at my mom's house. When was it? Sunday night. So I didn't have to wake early, early. I didn't have to wake up early, early for Monday's appointment at the doctor's. He was like, "No, why don't you guys stay? Oh, I don't like not being around you guys." Yeah, like this is only an hour. I'll be awake. I don't yeah. care. I'm gonna fall asleep. But if I'm if I'm home for like more than three hours, I'd rather be with my family. We're very much attached to each other. Like we love being no, around. No, no, no. Each other. Yeah, we, we, we do. We like being around each other. The arm is getting heavy. Uh -huh. Yeah, but attached to each other, no. We, I have individuality. You're going to have to learn it, but we do. We enjoy the company of each other. <laughs> Even if we do nothing and there's no sign, there's silence, we just enjoy being next to each other. Yeah, I don't like being alone. Be my little boo thing. My little boo thing. Uh, no, wait, now you just ruined it. I can't wait to go home and be alone. <laughs> Shut up. So, if you guys join us, my new. It's Yo, gonna... and double like today's vlog because how freaking amazingly hot she looks. Oh my god. I would have loved to see an OOTD. I know, you didn't take one. I wanted to I was too. enthralled just how amazing you look. And I say this not because of how attracted I am to you when you're pregnant. I know. You really looked amazing. Like those colors. Right? I think red is my color. No, everything worked very well in your favor today. <laughs> Thanks, as opposed to other days where I look like crap. <sighs> Thanks, babe. You want to go to a new phone? I'll buy it. It ran out of my pocket. What? I'll go buy you a brand new phone right now. <laughs> Stupid. Te quiero, te amo, te adoro, mis amigos. And we shall see you. Mañana. Buenas noches, mis amigos. Mwah. Beard kiss. Mwah. Belly kiss. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Belly kiss! Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. With me that you haven't heard that much. Thanks guys. But I eventually <laughs> fell in love with this thing. It's not as common, but people out there do have this name. And how do you know it's from me? Oh. Then we came up with a little name. And, and then we came up with a little Mickey Mouse.